How's it going guys? Slaney HD here. Today I'm going to do a little quick video about <clears throat> some useful commands you can put in um, into Counter-Strike, really any game you want um, as far as, I wouldn't call it modding, but um, a few features you can take advantage of that aren't really that popular out there. Today we're going to focus on Counter-Strike, so what I'm going to show you is a few commands that you can add in to basically be executed when the uh, the program Counter-Strike launches, all right? So how you'll do this is you're going to right-click on Counter-Strike properties, and then you're going to go to Launch Options. So what you can see here, these are the commands that I've put in, right? So there's other commands you can put in far more than this. Um, these basic commands right here are what I consider um, the go-to basic for me needed commands okay so we'll go through which each one is so no vid is very simple all that is is you don't get that intro when you launch the game so the game launches a little bit quicker you don't have to watch that intro hit enter so that's what dash no vid does <clears throat> does excuse me dash high cl i'm sorry dash high i'll have to look up cl show fps that's going to show you your frames per second, um, your refresh rate, and a few other statistics down here at the bottom of the screen in game. I like that. Some people don't. Um, for me, it comes in handy because I do a lot of overclocking on both my CPU and my GPU. So I like to see what kind of changes are happening. Um, and that's a good in-game monitor. Obviously, there's a lot better out-of-game monitors such as GPU-Z, things like that. But for a good in-game monitor to show you your FPS, um, your ping, and things like that, um, CL underscore show FPS 1 is very nice. And if you can also type these things in console while in-game, but if you put it here in launch, it just it stays there. You don't have to relaunch it each time in console, okay? So the next one is just dash console. And what that does is that enables you to use the console with whichever command um you which whatever key binding you set it to the default i believe is the tilde which is right below the escape key um and the console has lots and lots of useful commands and uh, if you can get familiar with the console it's actually very similar to programming in a way so if you're into it and stuff learning the console of the source engine which i believe that's what it has to do with is very useful um it'll it'll get you uh, kind of a beginner course, crash course, into what programming is like, okay? So let's not get too far off topic. The next one is Refresh 144. So <clears throat> this depends on what kind of monitor you have. I have 144 hertz, so that's why I have mine set to refresh 144 hertz. That means that the refresh rate is set to the maximum of what my monitor is, which is 144 hertz. So if you have a 60 hertz, you would do dash refresh 60. 120 dash refresh 120 so basically after you do that you're going to hit okay you're going to close it and you're just going to run the game so i'll show you here you'll as you'll see first of all no screen will pop up uh no um i'm sorry no video will pop up it's going to launch right into the game as you can see Right. And so the console will also pop up showing you a few different things. Right. And that's because we've enabled the console using the tilde. That's how we enabled the console. Right. So let me, I apologize for this. Let me just turn these down. Okay. So let's also look at um, what happens when we do the. So as you can see here on the bottom, right? So here's what the uh, dash CL underscore show FPS. It gives you your ping, your var, your choke, your loss, your tick rate of whatever server in your FPS. Um, to me, I enjoy that. Uh, some people, it might be distracting. <clears throat> like I said, I do a lot of overclocking and things like that. So I like to mess with um, my settings. And while I'm doing that, I can kind of look... Um, <clears throat> At the settings and from there you know see see what kind of results i'm getting um by the way here's my new bowie knife <laughs> had to get one you know just had to it was actually pretty cheap i think it's pretty cool looking let's kill this chicken but yeah so other than that guys um those are the commands i use which i find very useful there's tons and tons of other commands for you guys to look up um if you guys have any questions, any problems while doing this, just leave them right there in the comments, and uh, I'll help you as best I can. As always, thanks for watching, and 
let me keep the ideas coming, guys. Any videos you want to see, just let me know. Let me get this sick one tap here. What a fail. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, we're going to end the video there. Thanks for watching, guys.